Good morning. Is it morning? I don't even know what time it is. I have been awake and I have been packing and getting things organised. If you haven't been watching my videos, then you probably don't know. We're going on holiday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're going to Lake Garda in Italy. I am so, so, so excited. Um, but I don't know what the weather, it keeps changing. So one minute it says it's really kind of sunny. The next it says it's raining in the evenings. And I read online that it does get cold in the evening. So... I'm kind of packing dresses, but I'm also packing jumpers. We leave around four in the morning and Matt and I thought we'll go in the evening, we'll go and stay with Amma just to spend some time with her before we go. I really do miss Amma and I really want to go on holiday with Amma, but she she's just a busy, busy bee and I am going to make it happen. So we need to figure it out. But I just thought this evening, Matt and I thought we'll get everything kind of sorted out here. I want to kind of clean this place as well so that when we come back, we're coming home to a really clean, fresh place. The worst thing to do is leave it in a mess. And then when you come back, you just feel a bit meh. So I want to kind of organize, sort all this out. I do want to kind of go through everything I've packed. I've got I'm thinking I need to take a coat just in case. You know, in the evenings, if we want to go for a walk, I want to make sure I've got a coat. But I don't want to take too many coats, you know, so I need to kind of narrow it down to at least two. Um, I am also going to take my laptop with me, but I don't know if I will do any editing or any laptop bits and bobs. I think I've got it there. Um, just in case we have some spare time or if it is raining and we have some time I might take my laptop out but I'm going to try and be good at not editing and doing too much you know I just want to take this as a holiday and just enjoy my time I am going to take some books with me hold on I'll show you the books that I'm taking right the books I'm taking are happy place by Emily Henry and I'm also taking A Thousand Boy Kisses. I thought these two would be really nice easy reads on holiday. Um, although this holiday is going to be a lot of kind of exploring and going around the lake. I want to go and see a couple of churches, go and sit in a coffee shop and it's going to be a different kind of holiday. It's not going to be Kind of sitting by the beach. I feel like this holiday is going to be a very exploring, relaxed, walking, enjoying the views kind of holiday. So if I do get time, um, I will read. I know it would be better for me to have a Kindle or an iPad so that I'm not carrying books around with me, but if you know me, then you know that I actually really like holding a book and I really love the smell of a book and I like, <laughs> I also really just, I just like holding a book. I don't know what it is. I'd rather kind of see how much I've read and I just, I like holding a good book. So um, that's why I'm taking two. I'm gonna take two and it'll be nice just to kind of shut off and just have time with Matt and just be with each other and make memories. And I said to Matt yesterday, I said, oh my goodness, we're gonna spend so much time together. And then we laughed because we do make sure that we give each other a lot of time. And I think we understand how quickly li our lives can change. And I think it's made us so close. We are I don't want to get all cheesy, but we really, really appreciate each other. And I think when you've been thrown so much at you and you're kind of trying to get through each day, we now appreciate every minute and just appreciate not having to have that stress of all of that, you know? I don't want to talk about it. I feel, I feel like we're in a good place and a lot of our time got taken up when I was ill, a lot of our energy and I feel now it's, it's exciting to kind of make these memories and go on holidays and just 
be happy, you know, and not be scared. Not be scared of the future and not be scared of appointments. And I think for other people, it's different. I think Matt and I, we've had to go through a lot together so early on and um, it's made us stronger. So I truly, truly am grateful for the life that we have now because yeah, truly, truly grateful to God. Every day I'm grateful to God. I wake up and I'm always so thankful for the life that I'm living because I didn't think I would get to this point. And I'm sure if you spoke to Matt, he would say the same, just because he saw me at my lowest, at my lowest, lowest, where I was bleeding, I wasn't able to walk, I wasn't able to eat, I wasn't able to sit up, I would have to sit on my side. and. For us to be able to go away now and just be in each other's company and oh it just means so much we always say this whenever we talk health is the most important when your health gets taken away your life is not the same you know and so if you're kind of worried about anything please 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 don't worry because I know life is tough, but don't worry, because the more you worry and stress, you're putting a lot of pressure on your body, and that in turn affects your mental health, but also your physical health. And without health, life is so difficult. You need, you need good health, and um, that's the most important. I always pray for health, good health for all of us, the whole Loving Tiffany Thinks family. We all need good health, and just... That's, that's number one. Everything else is second. Health is priority. And you only realize that when it gets taken away. Then you do anything to get your life back. Because you might be worried about exams or work or other stresses, but when your health gets taken away, then, oh, it's, it's not, it's a horrible feeling. It's a feeling I can't explain and you'll understand if you've, had a health condition or you're going through a health condition you know how much you just want a normal healthy life you know me i can if i start talking i won't stop and i've got so much to do today so let's get on with it <laughs> i have got clothes everywhere um i'm taking that dress with me and do you remember when i went to new look and i picked up two dresses i showed you on that video I'm gonna take that as well, so I'm taking those dresses. If you haven't watched that video where I try on some clothes, I'll leave it linked below. I need to be better at linking things below because I always say, oh, I'll leave that video linked and then I forget to do it. So if you wanna see me try on those dresses, I'll leave it linked below. If not, you can maybe see me wear them on holiday. I'm thinking I am going to vlog, but I'm not gonna do, I'm just gonna pick, pick up the camera here and there. I'm not going to do intense vlogging um, just because it's a holiday and we'll just see. I love that you're a part of my life so I'm going to show you bits around and um, I'll say this now but I bet you I'm going to be picking up the camera a lot to talk to you. I'm always always talking to you aren't I? Um, look at this pen. I want to show you this pen. I got this from Sainsbury's. It was two pounds and it's such a beautiful pen. It really goes with my bullet journal. Look, I'll show you. I haven't even taken the label off yet because I got it yesterday. But that's better. It's more in focus there. I absolutely love, love, love the colours and the floral print and it's got really nice pink detail on there as well. So it just goes perfectly with this bullet journal, just like that. I'm gonna take the sticky thing off. It's a black ink pen. If you're wondering, I know some of you love stationery as much as I do, and I wanted to show you this because it was only two pounds at Sainsbury's, and I thought, what a bargain. What a bargain, you know, for two pounds. And it's black ink, and it's really nice and thin, and it can just go in there like that oh look at that it honestly feels that this pen was made for this bullet journal it's perfection i'm taking this with me on my holidays because i like i 
like organising and I like doing to-do lists and it would be nice to kind of write down where we went and just kind of... I like writing things down. <laughs> I'm going to pack my makeup and I want to be good. I don't want to overpack. I'm just going to... I'm going to have options but I don't want to take too much. Definitely taking this. This is a must. I'm also going to take the e.l.f. liquid blush. I'm taking this as well, which is the Charlotte Tilbury kind of pro... What's it called? Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. Um, I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette for concealer. I absolutely love concealer. I... Um, is it too much to take three concealers? I'm going to take concealer because I wear concealer the most. I like just kind of covering up my dark circles and that's kind of when I don't want to wear makeup but I want to feel kind of put together. I like wearing concealer so taking, maybe I don't need to take three. No, I'll take three. I'll take three because I'm only going to take one foundation and the foundation I'm taking is my favourite, Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I'm going to take my Rare Beauty blush um, and I'm also going to take my Charlotte Tilbury all over whoop, all over the eyes, it's called Eyes to Mesmerise in Betty. This is a very very old one but I have used this quite a bit. I should really get a new one but it still works so it's fine. What I like to do is just pat this all over my eyelids and then put mascara on and that's a whole makeup look. It's just so easy peasy. I've got my mascara. I'm going to take everything in my makeup bag. This makeup bag which I've had forever and it's just perfect. I think I got it off Amazon a while ago and it's just so good because everything fits in here. All my makeup brushes. I should have washed my brushes but I just didn't have the time so it's okay. I need to also take my contact lenses. Um, and my glasses and I'm pretty much all done I'm so excited I need to also the last thing I need to pack is all my stoma supplies and I made sure so what happens is when you get your supplies you need to make an order every month it's like a prescription you give the company a call and you tell them what you need so every month you make that order because I knew we were going away on holiday I made my stoma supply order ages ago because I wanted to make sure that I had enough for the holiday and for some more. Just because you never know what will happen so I like to overpack um, stoma supplies and I think that's just something I'm going to do for the rest of my life. If I go anywhere, even if it's in the UK, I'm always going to make sure I've got extra stoma supplies because it's so important, you just don't know. Imagine your car breaks down or the flights get cancelled or I just can't get back. I need to make sure that I've got stoma supplies. So you best believe I'm packing one month's supply of stoma supplies and that might be a bit too much, but it just makes me think, right, you know, I won't stress about it, I won't panic about it and it just makes me feel good, you know, so. That's something I'm going to do and it makes me feel calm because otherwise I'm, I don't want to have to count down how much I've got left. I want to be able to, if I want to use two stoma bags a day, I don't ever use two stoma bags that, any day. But imagine I want to do two changes or something happens and I need to be able to feel comfortable that I've got enough. I don't know if any of that makes sense. I think if you don't have a stoma bag, you probably don't understand. What's the equivalent? What is the equivalent? It's like having underwear? Not really, it's not the same. It's like if you're on your period and you wear pads, you want to make sure you've got extra. Is that the same? I don't know if that's the same. I don't know if that's the best way of explaining it, but it just, I just want to have backup, just in case. Right, makeup is all packed. I definitely need to get another new Rare Beauty lip gloss because I am definitely just now scraping the edges. Like you can see 
there. I have really, really used this up. I've only got a little bit left here. I might try and get this to come down. But I'm still going to take this because this should last me. And I think when I get back, I'll buy another one. I'm going to go through my list now and just make sure I've got everything. Just kind of look over and I think I'm good. I asked you guys to recommend a SPF a few videos ago and some of you recommended the L'Oreal this one so I picked it up and I haven't tried it yet but this is something I should be using every day I need to be better at putting on SPF every single day um, so this is the L'Oreal Revitalift anti-UV fluid SPF 50 shake well before you know what i'm just going to take this away and we'll open it when we're there because i'm going to keep it in the box and then i'm also taking um my hrt patches you all know if you've been watching my videos i've been taking the hrt patches and i change it so i use it twice weekly and it comes in a little Kind of patch like this i don't want to open it but it comes in a little square patch and then i stick it on my thigh because um that's the area which has a lot of fat and so they said you need to put it below your waist so i stick it on my thigh just on this side and that's been good so i'm going to pack that i'm also going to pack some painkiller and some imodium just in case you know you have to make sure you've got all of that i think i'm done you know i think i have packed a lot and I think I've got it all I don't think I've forgotten anything <laughs> I'm actually really excited I'm waiting for Mac to come home for work from work and he's got a few things he wants to pack I have a delivery today I bought some dresses because I've got kind of parties weddings events coming up so I ordered some dresses and I'm thinking it should be delivered today but it says it can arrive any time between 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. So I'm hoping it comes soon so that we're not waiting around just for the package. Um, I was kind of getting overwhelmed. You know when I went to the shops and I was trying on dresses and outfits and it just got a bit overwhelming. So I just thought, right, I'm going to order it online get it sent here and I can try it on with my heels and shoes and it's just a better kind of experience sometimes when you go to the actual shops and you see so many outfits and you try them on and I just get really tired really quickly I I don't know why I think it's especially if it's a very very busy time and I see loads of people it just gets a bit I don't have the best time I don't enjoy myself I have to mentally prepare myself to go shopping because there's moments where I really want to go to the shops and try things on but there's some days where I just want to get it ordered in and I ordered these dresses a few days ago so hopefully it's here soon I'm not going to try it on now just because um, I actually can't be bothered I'll try it on after I come back <laughs> It's a lot later. It is a lot, a lot later. Guess who's here? My favorite person in the whole world. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I told everyone how <laughs> I've been begging you to go on holiday and you were like, no, no, no. <laughs> not now, not now. A little, a little. <laughs> this is what she says all the time. Like, oh, we'll plan it later. We'll go somewhere later. Um, we are leaving here around three in the morning. So, Matt said he's going to have, um, he's going to sleep, but I don't think I'm going to sleep. I think I might stay up. I will sleep. Are you going to sleep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sleep. I think I'm going to just watch a movie or something because if I fall asleep, I don't know. I don't know. We still have time. Darling, are you okay? Yeah. Tired? Are you tired? I might just kind of keep busy and just edit a video and if I fall, fall asleep, then I fall asleep. Um, I just don't want to miss the train. So I'm just worried that if Matt sleeps and I sleep, I do usually get up anyways because I always wake up in the middle of the night. But imagine I don't wake up and then I'm, we miss the flight. So um, 
thinking I might stay up. I'm going to wash my hair as well. I might as well get my hair done um, and spend some time with my mama. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tired. I'm going to put another, you know, I think it was one of you that said when you have your stoma supplies, have one in the suitcase, one in your rucksack, and I've got one in um, Matt's bag as well. So I've got three lots just in case I lose the rucksack or I lose the suitcase. The only thing I really need is um, the stoma supplies. I might actually pack another lot and put it in Matt's suitcase as well so that. Because everything else I can buy. Like, let's say I lose my suitcase, I can get an outfit somewhere um, in Italy. But stoma supplies are very, very hard to get, especially in another country. Mm, that's true. <laughs> Mama has gone to sleep. She went to sleep a little while ago. Matt just went up and he said, Tiffany, I'm going to try and sleep for a little while. It is one o'clock and I'm thinking... I could sleep for one hour. I did end up washing my hair and I used the hair dryer because there was no time for me to let it air dry. I downloaded some stuff on the iPad so we've got things to watch. Although the flight won't be that long, I think it's about two hours. So, and I have a feeling Matt and I are both going to be asleep. But I downloaded Friends and I also downloaded Crosswords. Crosswords, not Crosswords. Sorry, not crosswords, crossroads. I've got my retainers in, so that's why I sound a bit funny. Um, yeah, I downloaded Crossroads, um, Britney Spears movie. I watched that growing up and I loved it a lot. And I'd like to watch it again. I didn't realise it was on Netflix. I need to tell my sister because my sister and I used to love watching it. It was one of our favourite movies. It was that and Parent Trap and what else did we like? All the Disney movies and... You know in Crossroads when Britney Spears goes on stage and she goes, I love rock and roll. I remember my sister and I were obsessed and it's a great movie. I want to re-watch it, so I've downloaded it. I will watch it at some point. And I don't know what else to download. The Gentleman, I haven't watched that. Um, is it good? I don't know. It was one of those ones that was you know when it says oh recommended for you it was on there but I didn't download it I don't want anything too dark and I don't know the gentleman I don't know what it's about so if you've watched it and you think it's a good show please let me know um but I'm keeping it really fun I also downloaded the proposal and I downloaded um gossip girl a few episodes of gossip girl too should I go sleep for an hour or just stay up I am in pyjamas, so I should, should I go and sleep for one hour? What if we don't wake up? And then we miss the holiday? <laughs> I think, maybe not, maybe I'll stay awake. Um, I have, I'm kind of done doing computer laptop bits because I feel like I've been staring at a screen for a long time and I just need a little break. If you watched my video a few videos ago, I told you I like to leave my, I don't really like putting heat on my hair, but um, I did it today because I didn't want to sit here with cold hair, cold wet hair, because it's already cold, you know, so I just used the hair dryer really quickly. And I like, let me show you. I also used the Colour Wow spray in my hair before I dried it and it just looks so nice and glossy. Honestly, I don't know what's in that product but it really works for my hair. It is 3 o'clock in the morning and we are... <laughs> we're here. We're getting... We're going to the north. <laughs> I can't with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> that's my suitcase. Actually, that's Matt's. This big one is mine. 